this evening we've got something very special. Before we continue the service, we're going to baptize a mother and a daughter tonight. So we're going to baptize Jacqueline and little Morel. And um, Elton, do you want to come forward? Jacqueline's never been baptized. That's really special. I was hoping, is Kim here? No, I was hoping Kim would be here. Do you remember I don't know, when Kim knelt here and cradled little Erin in her arms and she was also baptized like that? So it's really, it's really a special evening. It's a special occasion for them as a family. We prayed for little Morel Payton before we know that she struggled um, at birth and had a few difficulties. But she's come through. She's growing. Here we go. How cute is she? Look at the shoes. Please note the shoes. <laughs> I don't think you can get as far as, as small as her feet are. <laughs> there we go. Come forward. Let's just stand over here and face the congregation. There we go. So what we're going to do tonight, because it's mother and daughter, I will put a vow to Jacqueline first, and then we will put a vow to them as parents um, together. The Gospel tells us that Jesus was baptized in the Jordan by John. And he was coming up out of the water. He saw the heavens break open, and the Spirit descended on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven and said, You are my beloved Son, in you I take delight. The Old Testament records for us these words, I shall, shall sprinkle pure water over you. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. When Jesus was baptized in the waters of the Jordan, the Spirit of God came upon him. His baptism was completed through his dying and rising again. And our baptism is the sign of dying to sin and the rising to new life in Christ. It is Christ himself who baptizes us by the Spirit of Pentecost. And he makes us members of his body the church and calls us to share in his ministry in the world. So by water and the Holy Spirit, God claims us as his own. He washes us from sin and he sets us free from the power of death. In the sacrament again this evening, the love of God is offered to each one of you present here. Though we cannot understand it or explain it, we're called to accept that love with the openness and trust of a child. So in baptism tonight, Jacqueline and Morel they again are assured of the love that God has for them and the sign and seal of the Holy Spirit is placed upon them. Jacqueline, will you please respond to this vow? In seeking baptism, do you reject sin and confess your need of God's forgiving grace? And believing the Christian faith, do you pledge yourself to glorify God and to love your neighbor? Thank you, Jacqueline. Come sit closer so we can all watch. Come closer. Kids, you can come sit here. Come sit here. They want to watch. Come close. Take a seat. Elton and Jacqueline then in presenting Morel for baptism, desiring that she may be grafted into Christ as a member of his body, the church. Do you too receive the teaching of the Christian faith which we confess in the Apostles' Creed? Thank you. I'm going to ask that the congregation please stand and we're going to confess our faith together as we say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our God, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Let us pray together. We thank you, gracious God, for your gifts of water and the Holy Spirit. In the beginning, you moved over the waters and you brought light and life to a formless waste. By the waters of the flood, you cleansed the world and made with Noah and his family a new beginning for all people. In the time of Moses, you led your people out of slavery through the waters of the sea, making covenant with them in a new land. And at the appointed time in the waters of the Jordan, when Jesus was baptized by John, you sent your spirit upon him. And now by the baptism of his death and resurrection, Christ sets us free from sin and death and opens the way to eternal life. 
So would you send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this water that Jacqueline and Morel, being buried with Christ in baptism, may rise with him to newness of life. And being born anew of water and the Holy Spirit may remain forever in the number of your faithful children, through Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory for now and forever. Amen. Jacqueline and Morel, for you, Jesus Christ, came into this world. For you, he lived and he showed God's love. For you, he suffered the darkness of Calvary and cried at last, it is accomplished. For you, triumphed over death and rose in newness of life. For you, he ascended to reign at God's right hand and all this he did for both of you before you knew anything of it. And so the word of scripture is fulfilled. We love because God first loved us. What name do you give your child? Will you please come kneel in front of you and hold your daughter? Come closer. Okay. Here you come. Jacqueline, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and Morel. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God the Father and the Spirit descend upon you and may He dwell in your hearts forever. Let's sing the blessing over these two. Let me come and introduce you all to your newest member, members, but we'll take her as a special little piece of the church. Isn't she just cute? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> She's so cute. She's tiny. <laughs> there we go. Just remain standing there with me. Just remain standing. Wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Give it to Mark. <laughs> Jacqueline and Elton, your child belongs to God in Christ. And from this day on, she will always be at home in the Christian community. There will always be place for her here. Will you tell her of her baptism? Will you unfold this precious treasure to her that she has been given this night? It's a very special night. That she may know she's been baptized and as she grows, make her own response one day in faith and love, and in due time come to share in the communion of the body and blood of Christ. To the two of you, depending on the grace of God, would you teach your child the truths and duties of the Christian faith, and by prayer and example, will you bring her up in the life and worship of the church? Thank you. And then to you, congregation gathered tonight, you represent the whole church, and word and sacrament has brought you the joy of Christ's presence in your midst. They also bring you responsibilities as Christ's people in this place. So do you tonight welcome Jacqueline and Morel? Do you renew your commitment with God's help to live before all of God's people and children in a kind and Christian way? And will you share with them the knowledge and love of Christ? Will you do that? Thank you. Let's pray together. God of love, we rejoice again to receive your grace in word and sacrament. We've heard your call and we made new by the Spirit. Would you guide and God Jacqueline and Morel all their days? Would your love hold them? May your truth guide them. Would your joy delight them? Would you bless Jacqueline and Elton as her parents, that she may grow up in a secure and a happy home? Would you give to her family wisdom and courage, laughter and peace and a love that endures all things? Gracious God, would you touch us all again this night with the grace of our baptism? 
Give us new lives for old, new spirits, new faith, and new commitment in the place of all that has grown stale and tired and dead in our lives, so that we would rise and go from here to whatever awaits us in joy and in trust. This we ask in the name of the one born this night thousands of years ago in Bethlehem, Jesus our Savior. Amen. Let's stand and sing together. <laughs> 